Hello everyone, it's Kribini and Tina. Hi. Welcome to the channel. We hope today finds you in a good, safe place. Healthy. With the best of health. Yeah. That you're being safe. And that you are all good. In yes. the hood. <laughs> yes, and speaking of good in the hood, we are all good in our hood. So we just decided to do a quick video just to update you on what's happening here because I turn on CNN with you and M NBC every morning and we know what's going on out there right. in comparison and we are in contact with friends and our family. So yeah, so basically we just wanted, I got a few facts here this morning because the count went up in the DR and right now there is 245, as of this morning, there was 245 confirmed cases of coronavirus here in the Dominican Republic. Of course, the majority of them mm -hmm. were in Santo Domingo, the capital. Um, but I found it really funny. So 108 were in Santo Domingo. And I was like, all the other cities that they, or states that they um, mentioned have the confirmed cases are all the ones I told you right. that all foreigners live in. Right. So of course, that would include Samana, Mm -hmm. in the east because there is a lot of European, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, European people there. Yeah, older too. Older ones. And um, Santiago, of course. Where we stay at, the <laughs> that we're in. Yeah, so that's why we've been home. A lot of expats. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, there mm -hmm. is. I mean, there is. They come here a lot. And then, of course, Puerto Plata. So mm -hmm. Puerto Plata, the north coast. Santiago here where we're at. Mm -hmm. And Samana in the east. And then, of course, the capital. So 137 of those cases are spread, but they're not saying exactly how many each mm -hmm, city has, mm -hmm. but those three, city, uh, three cities, three municipalities. Um, other than that, there's still only three that have died, unfortunately, during the crisis. Uh, they all had underlying issues. And, right, so, right, medical issues. Yeah. yeah, and the percentage, I think, is pretty uh, on level with America as far mm -hmm. as men and women. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Men are getting it more. They just, right. they just said that, that that's just a statistic because of the chromosomes that women have to fight antibodies. So 50% men have confirmed corona and it's 43% women. So right. that's where we're at now. Um, there was good news that three Dominican um, people, a uh, guy and his two kids, that were in San Isidro uh, Military Hospital mm -hmm. had uh, were battling the illness and happy to hear that they are fine. Mm -hmm. They got released. They were tested twice, came up negative. They were so covered. they were able to go home, yes. And then also a couple others in Santo Domingo today, earlier this um, morning slash afternoon, because now it's afternoon, um, were also released from the hospital because they got better. Right, right. So I mean, it's not, you know, it's not deadly if you, self-quarantine, be healthy, and take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, the only thing that's really changed is that banks are open from 8.30 in the morning until 12.30, so a little bit afternoon, and then they're closed. That's not normal. Because right. what time is a bank usually That's not closed? normal at all. Banks usually close up about 5 or 6. Yeah, I thought so. Mm -hmm. So yeah, things essential things like that are even closing earlier because they want as less contact as uh, possible. The bank keeps sending notices. I told you to like right. do everything uh, through an ATM and mobily and make sure that you're you know wiping everything down. Right, right. So right. Hotel Barcelo in um, the south coast, you know, and here uh, it would be Punta Cana, La Romana, all that. But are the Barcelos? Uh, they forced their employees into a mutual, uh, signing this paper that was like a mutual agreement that they were going to be let go without right, pay. Right, So right. they are not providing any assistance. I right. don't know if any other hotels are doing that, but that hotel has actually been singled mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. that, that they made them sign the paper. I just couldn't believe it because you, you suspend them without pay. There is no unemployment here. Right. That's not none. And at least you guys in the United States can get unemployment. But here, it's no such, there's no such creature here. Right, and they are still uh, enforcing the curfew. And like I told you, remember the, uh, right, the minister got on the um, TV uh, yesterday and he reaffirmed and he re, I guess, uh, pushed mm -hmm. the curfew and said, hey, look, pay attention to this. People are not paying attention to this. 
it is from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, violator, violators are let out after 6 a.m. the next day. Um, but so far, over the weekend, mm -hmm. the total to date is 5,711 mm -hmm. people who have been locked up. Right. They're pretty serious about this. They even have the cars going to the neighborhood, oh, yeah. the loudspeaker mm -hmm. telling everybody what the hours is. You will be arrested. You will be apprehended if you're caught out past this curfew time. Well, actually, the first thing, the part of the message is to stay safe right. and to uh, be respectful of your fellow Dominicans. And for the safety and health of everyone is what the message says. Um, stay indoors and that there is a curfew. Right. So like, they, yeah, they're pushing both points big time. They even have the signs, like I said, mm -hmm. the, well, at least in Santiago, the mayor put up signs talking about health and safety and that we all have to work together to maintain that safety. Because the police are working with the armed forces, so they ain't playing. Right, they're saying. working together as one unit. Mm -hmm. And I even noticed when I was walking down the street today, uh, going to the Well Vet Center, that there's no construction going on now. No. Everything has stopped, Yes. everything has ceased. It's almost like a ghost town, even during the day. Yes, because only essential businesses can open up. If not, the police come and they shut them down. Mm -hmm. So it's basically just, your stores, grocery stores, grocery stores, let me stress that, go grocery, that's it. Grocery stores, gas stations, pharmacies, and then doctors, hospitals, and medical facilities like that. Like if you were an x-ray, you need to go get x-rays or anything like that. That's still open, limited hours. Most of the people, like I said, um, and the grocery stores are closing mm -hmm. at six or seven because the curfew's at eight, and they mm -hmm. have to allow their employees time to lock up and to get home. Right. So they don't get arrested. So they don't get arrested. Because they're shaking percent. everybody down. Like literally, they're like, "Why are you, you know, on the street?" And you have to prove that you work at something essential, like a hospital mm -hmm. or for a doctor. That that would be the reasoning that you would be on the street at eight o'clock. There is absolutely no leeway with that. And also, you mentioned somebody was having a party at the house. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, it was a video a that somebody party. had <laughs> that they were having a party and there was cars, so the police came and was like. Y'all know you're not supposed to be congregating, so I guess everybody's spending the night because <laughs> you step out of that party, you get locked up. <laughs> Ain't nobody leaving. <laughs> so, so this is pretty serious. Uh, the whole situation, uh, we're constantly know to being notified by Claro. Yeah, the phone. Yeah, the phone company. They've been uh, sending all kinds of stuff. All about, kinds of messages about um, you know the, the health and safety. Health and safety. The health department. Um, website and everything they send everything out mm -hmm. but the problem is somebody doesn't speak or read spanish and it is in spanish so you guys that are here that are english and have not grasped the language y'all better use that google translate well i know when i see canola canola virus corona coronavirus because of the canola uh, virus. canola like it's uh, some kind of a, you know oil it's not a, it's Corona like beer. You should drink Coronas. I'm gonna start you saying. Know that one. I'm gonna start start saying COVID nineteen. Yes, there you go. That's thank a you. lot quicker. There you go. COVID nineteen. There you COVID -19 go. COVID nineteen is 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 certainly uh, very very serious. Yes. Um, and like I said, the, the country is doing all it can to keep this thing under control. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad that we haven't had thousands and millions of people affected by this by this virus. Well, millions, but we haven't had thousands, so it's too late for that. And, and, it is, and, and, and not in the DR, but okay, in total. No, I, I count everything. I'm looking out for my country. I'm looking out for the U.S. I'm looking out for mm -hmm. here. I'm looking at everything as a loss. Mm -hmm. Anytime there's a death, Italy, anywhere, it's, it's sad. But like I was telling you, remember mm -hmm. when we were having the conversation in the house, mm -hmm. I said uh, in the bedroom, I said to you, I was like, everybody's so worried about hoarding and everybody's so worried about what they have and you know we mm -hmm. need to be very grateful because you know what you woke up today you're watching this youtube somebody somewhere didn't wake up right absolutely you absolutely. woke up you had a roof over your head somebody maybe in the streets and you woke up you got that roof in your on, over your head and you ate thank god and be grateful and be gracious because somebody didn't have a hot meal today right so right. it Everybody that thinks they have it so hard, remember, there's always somebody that has it harder than you. Right, absolutely. And, and the sad part about this whole thing is 
I'm hearing reports from, from the states that um, the domestic violence is going up, the race is going up because everybody's got to be home. So um, it's, it's a problem. They get into fights, they can't stand one another. Everybody's drinking, losing their mind because nobody wants to be confined. They can't go nowhere. There are some people that have violated the rules. They're still going outside, they're still going for a walk. They still around, close around, close around other people, and they just won't listen to what the reports have given them. Yeah. And the only thing I can say is keep loving each other. Right. Take this time to spend time with your loved ones, even if it's through FaceTime, and connect with people that you maybe haven't connected with in a while. Tell somebody that you love them, and take this time to just breathe. You know what I'm saying? We are so busy and so self-involved with work. And I'll tell you, I told you, that's the mm -hmm. two biggest, the two, one, two, the two biggest weapons of the devil. He uses them with a big smile on his face. He'll keep you busy, 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 and he'll keep you working because you think you got to get this, you got to get that, you need this, you need that. Everything's stripped away now. Right. So now it's really time to reflect and That's to sit, right. back sit back and to look at your family and mm -hmm. say, I appreciate you, mm -hmm. I love you, mm -hmm. and it's you and me. Right. Like we always have said That's though. right. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we just wanted to give you guys an update so you guys can know what's going on. Yeah, out here. <laughs> out here in the Dominican Republic. We are doing fine. We're doing safe. Even my cat Milo <laughs> is living her best life. She's happy we're home. <laughs> You're home every day. Yay! <laughs> She's very happy we're home. We're not on vacation nowhere. We're not going to visit another country right now. We're just basically just staying put, staying safe. And whenever we leave our apartment, we always put up, we're going to wear our mask, put our mask on, and make sure that we're being safe. Go get a couple of things from the grocery store, come back home, lock it down until this thing passes, until we get further instructions from the CDC. Yep. So basically our regular life. <laughs> right. <laughs> our regular life. So again, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are practicing social distancing. You know, everything that all and following all the instructions. Yes. And um, we love you guys. Yes. And we want you guys to stay well, stay safe. Yes. And again, follow everything that's been given. Keep focused on the news, watch the news, watch what's going on. Yes. Don't be in panic mode. Don't be in fear mode. You don't have but to fear, remember. You don't, because God is with us, every one of us. So continue just to be safe mm -hmm. and love each other. Don't yes. kill each other because you gotta stay home. <laughs> you gotta stay <laughs> And if that's the case, you need to re-examine your whole life and get I, another relationship. I I'm just that. saying. I know that's right. Because if you can't stand one another, this is the time that will come out. <laughs> kids working on your nerves, kids out of school, the whole thing. So sit back, breathe, focus, and love each other. Yes. And remember, love on this you. channel, oh yeah, I love you too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so like I always say on the channel, in the meantime, between the time, life is to be enjoyed. Continue to hit that subscription notification, and we'll see you on the next video. And remember, to stay safe. Yes. Peace.